dedication, loyalty, responsibility. Um, those are things that growing up, I was, I, it was instilled into me to have those things, to be someone of, of, of courage, be someone um, that people can follow. So I'm Dwayne Gates, a store manager here at the Homa Home Depot uh, in Louisiana. So I, I come down on a tail of a storm that they had in 2016. It was a weather event centered in Bad Rouge where it flooded a lot of the area and there was a lot of people displaced. So I was only meant to be down here for maybe about six months just to help out. But as I, I got in with the people and became entrenched in with them, um, I decided this is where I wanted to be. The history, the culture of the people here is just amazing. You won't find it anywhere else. There's no place else like Louisiana. Two years ago in June, I came to the store to be the ASDS. And about two months after that, Dwayne came to be our store manager. He'll come up to you know somebody and know that they've had a bad week and be like, before you leave today, I'm gonna make you smile. He's just goofy, but he is compassionate too. I've always wanted to give back and wanted to volunteer in the community. This community especially has been through a lot. You know, we're, on, we're still on the hills of Hurricane Ida, two years on from it now. They're still working on rebuilding their lives. Being a part of something great like Home Depot, we have so many different avenues to help people. We have avenues to help our associates, but then we have avenues to help other people who live in our community through Team Depot. When we go to a Team Depot event, if we go to another store to help out, I always pile all our associates up on the bus and we head out as one unit. So today we're on our way to uh, help out a couple who are affected by Hurricane Ida. I would describe Dwayne's leadership style as a servant leader. If he expects you to do it, he's going to do it himself. He's going to work with you. As a leader, you have to be vulnerable to your team. Your team has to know that you're human. You can't walk around like, you know, you're the top of the world. No, my associates put their apron on just like I do. Because when they get hired in, in their orientation video, they see what the Home Depot Foundation does. But it's a different thing from seeing it and experiencing it. Because you can dedicate resources, money all day long, but time, you can never get time back. A lot of big corporations that say they give back, but you never see them giving back. So, you know, we say and do. So that's what I like about it. From my past life, it was you were by yourself, everyone was doing their own thing, looking out for themselves. Whereas here at Home Depot, I've learned that teamwork always makes things better. We like to help people. We like to make sure that they go home the same way they came, if not better. He is very hands-on um, and he cares. He's a person you can go to when you have any sort of concerns or issues. He'll definitely take time out of his day. Door is always open if you ever need any help from him, if you ever need a word, or if you ever need to vent, because we know we all have those days. He's always available. You know, when, when I think about being someplace where I can make the decision on who I'm going to touch this week or who I'm going to invest in, that's one of the things that keeps me going about Home Depot, the fact that I can help people. It means the world to me.